Tonight on The Prophet. This is a small space. It's been challenging. A tiny cupcake shop with a big idea. You walk in, you pick your cupcake out, you pick your topping. Tony's mini should be raking in the dough, but it's not. There's $134,000 worth of debt. His biggest investor is his wife. To the point that it's, I'm not giving any more money. Tony's bakery is cramped and chaotic. Sales are down. Right now, we're losing money every day, and so I'm trying to stop the bleeding. And the debt keeps rising. I'm just upset. I didn't know about all those people that we owe, owe money to. If I can't find a winning recipe for Tony, we're closing the store. Oh, my god. This is amazing. His relationship and his business will crumble. You don't always think things through. Really? Yeah, really. Tony's Minis has the worst retail entrance I've ever seen. I mean, there's scaffolding everywhere. The places on either side of them look like they're in really bad shape. This build-your-own cupcake better be great. How you doing? How are you? Are you Tony? I am. I'm Marcus. Marcus. Pleasure to meet you, Nice sir. to meet Pleasure you. To meet you. This is a small space. It's, yes, it's been challenging. I'm expecting to find a bright, fun retail environment. And what I end up seeing is no display and a bunch of packaged cupcakes that are made in the back. Can I offer you a cupcake, Marcus? You surprised me. So that's the base. Marcus, you have my strawberry bag? No, it should be in the front. Never mind, I got it. You walk in, you pick your cupcake out, you pick your topping. Cupcake's good. Always happy to hear the that. The frosting's good. The process seemed a little non-existent. I would have thought there would have been a bit of an assembly line, like base, frosting, topping. I don't necessarily see that. One cupcake, what does that cost to make? So the cost of the cupcake will be closer to 33 cents. Are you winging it? I'm estimating. I wouldn't call it estimating. I'm going to call it guesstimating. Touche. It's kind of a tight space. There is no workflow in this place. And it's cramped, and it's hard to maneuver. And their ingredients are just stored randomly everywhere. Hi, Marcus. Tamika. Tamika, nice to meet you. You too. How are you? Are you the oh, sister? Great. Yes. I'd love to kind of spend a few minutes with you, okay. if you don't mind. OK. But Who's the manager here? I'm on again, off again. Walk me through that. I worked for, like, really, really low pay, which was OK with For me. how long? Like a year. Wow. Does he listen like... to you? No. <laughs> no. No. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm Mary Nee. Are you Tony's wife? Yes, I am. Hi, nice to meet <laughs> nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what do you think of the store? I think it needs an upgrade. That's why I wrote you. <laughs> oh, OK. Tony, I thought it was you. No, it was it was it was her. The business aspect of it has placed a lot of stress on our, on our marriage. How much money do you have invested in this business? Like to fifty. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is what Aranis has put into that business. That money is gone. I think you, he needs you. I think he needs your expertise. If he hears it from you, maybe yeah. he'll take. He doesn't listen to you. Not all the time. <laughs> Not quite. Tony's been in business for 12 years, and he still struggles with the basics. But the big question for me is, is he willing to do what it takes to save the business and pay his wife back? I think the worry that I have is that you have two people, one's your sister, one's your wife, and not listening to them. What confidence would I even have in the fact that you listen to me, you don't listen to them? But if someone is coming in that I think has done it before, it just gives me a, a different perspective. We're going to do a little math. The total revenue that it shows on this p and is $250,000 for the year. And you lost $76,000. There's the $250,000 that you put in. So what do we owe other people? Payroll tax is $11,000. Federal state tax, $35,000. There's $15,000 in arrears, of which is February rent and water escrow, and then late fees. $15,000? Then there's Denise, $12,000. Robert is $25,000. My mom for $13,000. Michelle for $7,000. Uh, Wait a minute. Is this for her services or she lend you, lend you no, money? No, this is, this is her, this is her loaning me the money. Um, then there's $10,000. So is the person who I uh, borrow money from and he picks up a weekly, a weekly uh, payment for me. Like a, like a... A loan shark? Yes. 
This is a much bigger number of debt than I originally thought for a single location bakery. We have some work to do. The reason that I came to this business was because I liked your idea. And so now that I understand these numbers a little more clearly, I'm willing to put up $100,000. For that $100,000, we're going to satisfy some of the debt that is a real problem. And the balance is going to go into getting this location really right. And so I'm interested in investing in this particular idea. So what are you thinking right now? I'm thinking that um, now I see why your mother is uncomfortable sometimes. She probably wants to ask you for the money. But since I didn't know about it, she can't ask you in front of me. Well, your mother's 13000 right? Mm -hmm. If my offer was 100 I have no problem going to 113 Says if mom's happy, everybody's happy. I'm uncomfortable with You mean the loan shark? Yeah. I don't know what these people are about. I'm uncomfortable with that scenario altogether. So it would make you happy rather, if that got paid? Yes. Right. So then I'll up my offer to 125 and instead of 20%, we'll go to 25%. You got a deal? We got a deal, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me tell everybody what's happening. Tony and I and our niece made a deal for me to become a partner in the business. And I'm gonna put $125,000 in the business. We're gonna pay down the debt. The rest of that money is gonna be used to renovate this whole place. We're not gonna be doing any sort of expansion until we get this one right. I think we're just kind of cutting off our, our hands by letting go of these other opportunities, like Newark. So for me, it's a struggle. We're not doing any expansion until this place is right. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, well, we'll go right now. Oh, my God. This is, this is amazing. I'm speechless. In order for this place to function, I'm gonna have to take it all the way down to the studs. So when they walk in, they see the cupcakes. Then there's a station where they pick their frosting and their toppings. There's a natural beginning and an end. I know you have some reservations about Newark, but I truly believe that if we can figure out a way to have two different locations, the same type of setup. But don't you think you should get one right first? Being a good partner requires you to listen to ideas, even when you know they're terrible from the start. So what is this building? This actually is 60,000 square feet of retail space coming in. How far along are you in discussions here? Lease was signed at this point. The lease was signed? It's been signed. It's been signed. What are your projected sales for this location? $590 per day. Oh, so $590 of cash is going to go through your register. You'll have six people that work here at an average of $10 an hour, so that's $60 an hour. Mm -hmm. Is $60 an hour times eight hours is $480 a day in labor. OK. How much is your rent here a month? $2,600. So about $100 a day on average. OK. Right, so now we're at $580. You just lost money. It's not as simple as just saying your six staff times whatever the number you're giving me. It doesn't, it doesn't really work that way. It may, it no, may no, work. No, 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 let me give you a little news flash. It does work that way. I've always been able to figure it out and land on the highest ground. We're just gonna be honest. From a business standpoint, you haven't always just figured it out. Really? Yeah, really. I get you don't see what I'm trying to do. Actually, I do get what you're trying to do. We have to prove that we can make money without adding locations. And we have to find ways to actually put cash in the bank. And until that happens, we shouldn't be doing anything else. OK. All right. Today is the grand opening of Tony's Minis, and it's a very proud day. The scaffolding outside is now gone, so you can actually see the store. The space has been completely renovated, so it's bright and open. Before, it was dark and cramped. Now it has an efficient flow for the employees to make the cupcakes. Welcome to Tony's. Come on in. Hi, how are you? You're going to make a cupcake with me, OK? Yes, sir. We finally launched the do-it-yourself. The signage is now clear and understandable. The toppings bar is easy for kids and adults to see and pick from. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy. So I guess you're part of the family. 
I am part of the family. And the best part was seeing Tony pay his mom back. While we used to do $500 a day in business, we're now doing a minimum of $1,500 a day. And our operating costs on a daily basis are averaging around $1,100, leaving us with gross profit of $400. On an annual basis, it's about $140,000 of profit per year. Cheers to legacy building. And continued success. New Tony's minis, new me, no stress.